All right, guys, welcome back to what could potentially be our ending for Silent Hill 2. Hope you're all all right. So, looking at my PlayStation dashboard, it says that I'm 92% done with this game. I know that that's not always accurate. It's not a great measurement. But I think I'm going to try and play now until we finish it. So, the last thing we did, we watched that tape. And we've now ended up in the Otherworld version of this Lakeview Hotel. I'm definitely not ready for what's, oh, for what's in store for us, but we're going to get this done, and I'm finally going to find out what the hell is going on, because I still don't know. So, I'm assuming everything's still got the same layout. Yeah, it looks like it. Reading room, yeah. Hall, nurse's office, yeah. Employee elevator. Definitely looks like everything's still the same. Surely there's stuff to find in these rooms. Oh my god, I've ended up back where I started. No, I haven't. It looks exactly like it. That's crazy, you know, because that looked exactly like where I started at. There wasn't really much point in going around that loop, though, was there? Hmm. It almost seems too easy. There is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. need you for something. Mm, nothing there. Well, that works. <laughs> All right, now this is where the monsters come, isn't it? Ah, oh, it definitely is too dark. Wash yourselves, make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your deeds from my sight. Wasn't it so odd, that section, where I had to go down that elevator and give all of that stuff up? Like, 
I still don't really understand the point of that. I get it was to kind of make it harder, but... I don't know. So this is the, the reading room, yes. Still surprised I haven't seen an enemy yet. Oh, the lift. Oh, I'm going back into the basement again. Trust it. Kind of shoehorning me towards that lift. So I guess where we're going. Oh, maybe not. Oh wait. Wait, the lift never used to be here. It was it was there and to the right. Wasn't it? Am I losing my mind? Yep, basement. Oh, this is where it's going to get real. It wasn't flooded like this the last time I was down here. Nice to go another save point. But what's coming? Why is it letting me save? I thought I just saw something there to interact with. where we put the the valve on not them things is there them swinging things This is very strange. I feel like everything's too easy. Mama? Mama? 
I was looking for you. You're the only one left. Maybe then I can finally rest. Mama. What's wrong? Wait. You're not my mama. It's... It's... You. Sorry, Angela. I think you were right. What we're looking for is not here. Not anymore. Thank you for helping me earlier. But I wish you hadn't. Even Mama said it. I deserve what happened. No, Angela, that is not true. Don't pity me. I'm not worth it. Or maybe you think you can save me? me care for me heal all my pain that's what I thought James Give me back the knife. No, I won't. Saving it for yourself. Have it your way. It doesn't change anything. For me, it's always like this. I love the like I think the drama and that of it is so good. Like it's so well well done. Oh fuck, I knew it. I knew it was only a matter of time. <laughs> Wait, they're not attacking me. Complaining, but what? Three twelve to be cleared out. No one's returning. Well, 
this is making a nice change. Where the hell am I at? Are you? No, nowhere. Um, what? Strange what was going on there. All right. I know what you are. I know why I needed you. It is all over now. I don't need you anymore. You mate. Too early. <laughs> oh, my dodging ears are cautious. Such a small arena. I like moving past her.
one lock in. Oh my god, when is it over? That's fucking nuts. Destroy what you don't need. Garlet egg. Rust coloured egg. I have no shotgun shells. What do you want, James? <sighs> flowers. <laughs> I don't want any damn flowers. Just go home already. Look at me. I'm disgusting. Between the disease and the drugs, I look like a monster. Well, what are you looking at? Get the hell out of here. Leave me alone already. I'm no use to anyone. I'll be dead soon anyway. It'd be easier if they just killed me. But I guess the hospital's making a nice profit off of me. Why are you still here? I told you to go! Are you dead? Don't come back! James... Wait... Please... Don't go... Don't leave me alone. I didn't mean what I said. Please. Tell me it'll be okay. Tell me I'm not gonna die. <laughs> This is absolutely nuts. How long is this hallway, by the way? I thought I should be turning around. Oh, wait. There we go. Oh, why so much ammo and health? Dip forces the mind. Twenty six.
Where on earth am I going here? I've missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together. Forever. No. James. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? <laughs> I am so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. No. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. I can't! What? It's a bit like that boss we fought earlier. Way earlier. In the hospital. She out. Am I meant 
be like shooting up into the ceiling here or what? Oh! Save this rifle for. Everything we got here. Oh. Shotgun shells, it is. Shit, bitch. Hey, handsome. told you, you wanted the pain to end. Yeah. We did. But that's not why I did it. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. If that's true, then why do you look so sad? It's okay, James. Here. What is this? It's what you've been looking for.
restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. And that's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. But that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon. So that you remember me for who I was. And not what the disease made me. I want you to go on. I want you to live. For yourself. And for others. Like you did for me. James. You made me happy. Reach the leave ending. Wow, how incredibly sad. Oh. Ending clear. One of it. What? Holy shit. Look at them stats as well. I 
checked the map 236 times. That's insane. 322 times I tried to open a locked door. Hey, at least I was thorough. We killed 332 enemies. I only actually killed 59 of them by shooting them. That's crazy. I died no times. Let's go. I didn't even realize I didn't die once during, that, during this whole game. Oh, I'm taking that all day long. 566 dodges performed. Oh, that's insane. I love it. I love those stats. That's amazing. You have gained access to New Game Plus where you can play with access to additional items, graphic modes, and endings. Oh, man. Honestly, I don't care if this is recency bias or whatever. I'm just going to come right out and say it. I think this might be the best horror game that I've ever played. Wow. It was just absolutely incredible. I'm just thinking to compare it to the Resident Evil 4 remake, which is like fair enough, I think. I think it's a fair comparison. This was definitely scarier. Now, I know that the that Resident Evil 4 is more kind of like action-y, so to be fair and I think compare it to what I think is the scariest Resident Evil, which is Resident Evil 7, I still think that this was a lot scarier, which is an absolute credit to this game because Resident Evil 7 was very, very scary. Honestly, this game is a masterpiece. I'm so glad that this was the first time that I've played it. I mean, I really should have played it when it was first out. Obviously not at the time, but like later on when I was when I could have went back to it. But I'm just really pleased that I've got to play it once at all. Holy shit. That was absolutely nuts. And I'm going to be honest with you, I still don't know what what's happened. So did Mary die three years ago or did she just die? I, I, I really don't know. Am I going to have to go through the game and achieve other endings which will then give me more backstory like because it said there that there's eight different endings that's nuts i'm just trying to think like so if you did eight playthroughs uh, no actually i wonder if if it's maybe one of those kinds of things where i could have loaded up a save close to the end game and maybe done something different at the end game and then it would have led to an end and surely it can't have been over the course of the entire game because that's like it took me 12 hours that playthrough obviously the next time i play it i could speed it up i could probably cut that in half or definitely cut it down by like a quarter um so you're still talking like 100 hours aren't you like really if you think about it you're probably talking like 100 hours to achieve all the endings i mean i could be totally wrong there and it could be like a really easy thing to achieve them but that's nuts man I'm so pleased, you know, as well, that I didn't die throughout that entire game. That's nuts. But yeah, I'm still, I'm still like none the wiser, really. I, 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 <laughs> the game was so well done that I, I just, it's the ending. And I suppose the fact that we left, is that not a happy ending? In a way? I mean, is there an ending where you don't ever leave Silent Hill and you just die or something? Or you just, I don't know. If there's eight different ones, there's maybe you die in one, maybe you, you get stuck there forever in another. God knows what the other five are. This is insane. I'm like I'm like excited at the thought that I get to see this like another seven times. Nuts, man. Absolutely unreal. Yeah, I can't speak highly enough of this game. Definitely up there with the very best that I've played this year. And I can see why it's so like well respected and loved because it definitely deserves it wow it's what an experience and i think i said it in one of my earlier videos but the sound design in this is like nothing i've ever witnessed the only thing that i can compare it to recently was alan wake 2 that game the atmosphere that was created through the sound was absolutely phenomenal but this was just the same i will never i think it'll stay with me forever when i was in them apartments and i walked into that room and something started whispering in my headphones. Everything, everything in my body stood up. That was that was the single scariest thing that's like ever happened to me. I will never ever forget that. It was absolutely 
ridiculous. It caught me so off guard. I, I literally thought there was someone stood next to me. A proper shit me cell. It was, it was insane. But yeah, this game, it, I, I, I just cannot say enough good things about it. For anyone who does like horror games and stuff like that, like if you are a big fan of this, it's a must play. And like I say, I, I genuinely do think this is probably the best that I've ever played. I'm trying to think off the top of my head what, what comes close to it. I mean, I I just can't like, it's just so good. It's 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 like it's I'm I'm finding it hard to find the words to describe how good that was. Like the, just the experience overall. And like I say, I, I'm going to be doing it all over again, multiple times. It just had a a, a great mix of everything. Like the obviously you get the them moments where you're getting chased and that where you're defenseless. You got the moments like in that Toluca prison. Dear me, that was insane. That was pure panic. I remember going to get that weight, and then all of the bodies just got up. Everything when I was I think it was when I was in the showers, and everything just got up and started coming for me. And then I couldn't find the way out. It was absolutely terrifying. It just has so many moments, like individual moments of brilliance in like regards to, to the whole, like putting you, <laughs> put, putting you on edge and, and uh, like really making you panic and scared. Like it, it's just unbelievable. And I would love for them to do more of these because I would like to play other games in this series. If they could remake them like this, that'd be, unbelievable but yes i will definitely be keeping my eye on the if they're going to do a new silent hill i will be there no matter what but anyway guys i think i'm gonna leave it there i think that's enough for me now i need to rare uh, i need to go and have a breather calm down before i give this another shot <laughs> another playthrough um so yeah we should still be carrying on with uh, a quiet place and then we'll nearly be out of the month of october and then we'll see what we can look forward to on the horizon. That might have been a play on words. That might have been a hint to what might be coming. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that's it for Silent Hill 2, guys. But yes, absolutely fantastic game. One of the best I've played this year for sure. Look out for it in my list that I do at the end of the year. But um, absolutely fully recommended. Must play for anyone who likes horror games. But yes, we're going to leave it there for now, guys. So if you have made it this far, I always say it at the end of my series as well. If you've made it this far, if you've, if you've watched anything, if you've watched 10 minutes, 5 minutes, an hour, every video, one second of a video, I appreciate you giving me your time because time's the most valuable asset in the world. And the fact that you guys choose to come and spend it here with me will always be mind-blowing to me anyway. So thank you so much for that, guys. And thank you so much for watching. So if you wouldn't mind dropping a like on the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new around here, that'd really help me out a lot. But other than that, guys, I hope wherever you all are, you're having a wonderful day. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.